Good morning. Hold on. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Of course not. Why would I expect a thing like that? Uh, these things do... Oh, for God's sake. Excuse me a second. I really must come down here earlier. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know. What have you done? The thing's not working. Why? Thing, yes. Oh, here it is. Look. Did we talk on the air about the fact that we discovered what... No. We have isolated a couple of well-known people who were hitherto four, or should I say heretofore, <laughs> hitherto baldy, but who are now not baldy. And um, we went to great lengths to try and discover where they got their hair from. And we now know. <laughs> now, <laughs> I need it. I feel the need of it. You see, I feel as if I'm, well, letting my listeners down because every time I meet them, they look at me and I'm grand from the front. Yeah. But if I have occasion to bend down or they come round behind me, you can see that I have a little hole in the back of my head where well, there is no hair. Now, this is very unfortunate on television because people always film you from behind when you're walking. So I, I looked at myself, you know the way the women look at you? Yeah. When I walk along and they look at me with desire in their eyes, but then when they pass me, they see the baldy bit. They lose interest. So I figure if they can stay with me front and back, I might be in with a chance. We have been uh, trawling for volunteers. <laughs> for what? You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. For what? Tell me what you're talking about. Would you, you get... trawling for volunteers? Yeah. For your, your, your hair piece. Oh, you mean donors? <laughs> Listen, I'm not getting the respect in this programme that I feel as if I'm due. Uh, have, you been, have you been out? What do you mean out? Were you doing anything? You, you have a strange colour. What <laughs> colour am I? You're nearly orange. What? Does well, something go wrong? Well, I, I was close to the Garvahi Road yesterday. We, we tanned, we sprayed. Did you get a wee... Stop it. It's implying that, A, I'm vain. Well, well I you are respect. vain. No, right, don't gang up on me. Tell me this before you continue. No, before we go any further. No, but I'm wondering before, no, before you... We go no, any before, before, no, before you continue. No, but no before, before we go any further. Well, do you see that... Hey! Do you see that where... Uh, and I'm not... I can't get a word of me. You I know it's because I'm angry. I'm... Well, you're interrupting me all the time. Why should I interrupt you? It's my turn. This is my programme. What do you call this show? The Sean Coyle Show? No! That's a little one that comes on later. This is the Jerry Anderson Show. I can interrupt whoever I like. And I'm getting no respect. You're a strange colour. Maybe we should get your money back. I am no colour. You I are. am the same as You're I know orange. I am. I'm not orange. Yes, you are. Who's Please. there with me today? See, you've noticed why I say who's there with you? Because it's not about you, it's about me. Do you think I have faith can't affect that on? Yes, she says. <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> Uh, only a wee bit. I just can't get my head round the fact that any man, you know, right, he gets up in the morning and he's in his bedroom and he looks at his body and he says, I must get some fake tan. Uh, how could any human being so be so vain as to do that? I'm a metrosexual. Are you? Yeah. You're not. You're a golfer. Yeah. So you don't I, understand the concept of maybe looking a little better. And you don't you see Yes, but you, you, want, you expect people to think that. Yes, I, that's why I put it on. Would so you never say, for instance, supposing somebody puts something in your face, oh, that's good. Uh, what is that? Who's going to put anything in my face? You're I, afraid of your feminine side. That's what's wrong with you. You're afraid. You're a big macho boy. You're one of those guys, and I know you're one of those guys when you go into a shower, and you know, in a, a communal changing room, have you ever seen those men? <laughs> the men who change, and they all walk around and go, ah! Yeah, what a big yeah. What the hell? <laughs> walking around naked. And they're what? shouting because they're naked. Whereas if they're walking around naked, they can't go, hello, how are you? They go, <laughs> yeah, what are you? You're implying that I'm one of those boys. You're one walk, of those. I yeah. walk about. Would you walk around naked in front of another man? Not at all. Well, I would.